So we got the Putnam County 4-H Fair coming up and there's one problem. We had a tourney last week and the boat is kind of in bad shape. First thing you have to do is enlist some good help. And since I couldn't find any, the girls are gonna help. Stuff. First, we gotta get all the dry stuff out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sweeping down there. Oh, you jump and jump. There's a bunch of dried up mud. So after we got the boat clean and swept out and scrubbed off and washed down and inspected, we were ready for the parade. Now when we got there, there's a couple last minute touches that we had to do. Had to make sure we got all the uh, candy and goodies inside. Uh, we had some confetti and stuff. Uh, we decked out the outside a little bit with some uh, extra trimmings to make it look not so much like a nasty catfishing boat. And uh, I think a lot of people liked it. And I remembered why we don't put the camera on random people. But having seen that, it let me do one of my other favorite pastimes, mohawk watching. All right guys, July 18th, we're at the uh, Putnam County 4-H Fair, getting ready to get this thing going and let's throw out some candy, make some kids happy. Bring the word of catfishing to everybody. So look out Putnam County, we're coming after you and Indiana. All right. This is the initial causeway we go up. So we get on the main parade route here. Hey guys, you like fishing? Yes, we love fishing. All right, this is my gear I'm using here. Got the Skeet Reese. Skeet Reese open face. It's critical that you use the right bait when you're fishing for this type of game. So a couple business cards and we got some uh, some live worms here, pre-salted and pre-scented. So this should reel them in pretty good. We'll see. See how it goes. Hey, is that set up for catfish? It is. Wait. Yep, this is a, we call this a, just a slip sinker rig. So I set my sinker, this All is right. just a free free sliding sinker, right above a one-op barrel we swivel. Well to set them for, uh, channels. Yep, for slip, yep, same thing. Uh, and then I got my barrel swivel, I got a, this is a little longer leader than I usually use. And then I typically would have a, oh, you got a heavier line for a leader. Yep. This is, I fish with, uh, this is 30 pound yeah. mono, and then this is 50 pound mono for my leader. And then we use an ADOT double action circle hook. Actually, I think I got one in here. I'll show you a little better. Yeah, that right there. Oh yeah. I got a lot of that in my ocean fishing. Oh yeah, you in my local deck a lot. Let's see about this one here. Oh, oh. Now that's a cool way to get candy. Oh, take it off. You gotta take it off the thing. That's cool. <laughs> right about that line. Ready, ready. There we go. Stole my bait. Stole my bait again. Oh, cut it! <laughs> oh, he got it! <laughs> Good job! Undo the clippy on there. There you go. Thank you! Better. 
I like that one. Oh, now I get this one. Woo! Oh, that... it wasn't the same. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, I like that one. I got one more of these. gear that I was using I wanted to show everybody. Uh, I got a uh, Abu 7000 reel set up on this, uh, this new Thundercat uh, heavy rod. This is the eight foot heavy action one that I had set up and I've got some weight on it. I don't have a hook though for safety reasons. On the inside here we use the uh, 6500 Abu uh, reels and I had those hooked up to my new uh, seven and a half foot medium heavy Thundercats uh, with uh, double action Team Catfish circle hooks and then this is actually the setup I was using all of these are actually the uh, setups I was using this weekend uh, and those are big weights we're slinging eight ounce uh, no rolls just to keep them keep them in the current there at the White River at that last tournament. So uh, I did get several questions about these during this parade. Okay, well I showed you the setups that I was using uh, during the parade here because I wanted to use real world setups. I had a lot of questions from people. I know we had a lot of fun throwing candy and everything, but I still did have some actual fishing questions from people and I'm always happy to answer them, happy to point them to uh, our website or uh, any that I feel will help them, you know. I uh, pitched a lot of people's YouTube stuff today, you know. Um, I told several people to check out, uh, you know, the, the Catfish Edge stuff uh, with Chad Ferguson. Uh, check out uh, Steve Douglas's stuff, great information there. Uh, I gave his uh, YouTube channel out to a few people today. and. It really helped to have a real world example of what we use while we're out here tournament fishing. So it was a great opportunity to show this to people who don't normally fish and uh, you know answer some of the questions they had. Kids loved it. It was great to show them and great to see uh, everybody's faces light up at uh, the uniqueness of our float here and it was a good time. So we're looking forward to doing it again next year. Okay guys, well that shores it up for us this week. I uh, just wanted to you know, thank you again for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, then feel free to hit that little box down there and you'll get all of our updates that we post to YouTube and uh, all over social media. Come follow us on other platforms. By subscribing and liking and sharing, you help us spread the word of catfishing to the masses and we cannot thank you enough for that. We really appreciate it. So help us spread the message. It's a great sport and get it out there and get more people involved. And uh, Thanks again for your watching, thanks for your time, and tight lines everyone. One thing I forgot to keep in mind is that people get a little crazy when you put them in front of the camera. I can't be crazy. 
I'm not allowed to do that. <clears throat> you guys can be crazy. I'm crazy. If you're allowed to. I don't know why I'm going to. Uh, what else? It's a lot of wood. <laughs> 